Now, you may be asking yourself, why real estate over other investment vehicles such as stocks, businesses, intellectual property, etc.? Here's something to think about. When you want to buy an investment, when you want to buy investment in real estate, you can go to a bank or a lending institution and you'll get into a basic partnership with them where you normally provide 20% of the money up front. This is called the down payment to buy the investment property and the bank will give you 80% of the remaining amount to buy the property. To me, this shows the amazing and very real value of leverage and stability of real estate as an asset class. Now, before you go any further, yes, I know there are many different ways to buy and different splits that you can do, but, this, but for this conversation, we're gonna use basic numbers and standard lending practices of 80-20. This is not another area of an investment class, there's not another area of investment class that I know of where someone who's a novice or basic beginner can sign a few pieces of paper, put in 20% on a deal, and get 80% given to them with a small surcharge, which is called an interest rate. While you still get 100% of the upside, which is the profit, cash flow, appreciation, and depreciation. Now, why would a bank loan on an investment vehicle like this and not something like a stock? Because real estate, in the eyes of a bank whose job is to measure risk, feels that property, not so much the new investor, has such low risk, even as an investment, if there was such risk as stocks, they would never loan on it. Here's an idea for you. Go into a bank and tell them that you wanna buy $100,000 worth of stock and you want them to give you $80,000 and you will put in 20,000. Oh, and by the way, you have never done this before, have zero experience and no idea what the right or wrong strategy is. Tell me how much money you think they're gonna give you. 